Hello and welcome to yet another show and tell. This time is uh, 18 Chesapeake, the birth of American Railroads by Scott Peterson from All Aboard Games. This is an so-called introductory uh, 18xx game set in the uh, beginning of the or towards the, the beginning towards the middle half of the 19th century. Uh, two to six players, uh, ages 14 and up, 2.5 to 3.5 hours, depending on your uh, of your skill. So let's see. I uh, was immediately uh, interested uh, as soon as I found out about this game. And uh, I found out about this game as soon as it uh, uh, hit uh, one of the uh, stores that I uh, buy my games from. So I found out fairly recently about this. And uh, as soon as I uh, had the opportunity, I said uh, I want to jump on it because um, it's uh, it has two-player game uh, option and uh, about. Uh, it, uh, because uh, of its uh, suitability to introducing new uh, new players to the game, I'm a fairly new game uh, gamer myself, an 18xx gamer myself. Uh, but I have friends that I love trains or uh, I don't know economic games, and uh, I think it would be uh, if it lives up to the expectation, it would be a nice uh, gateway game for this. And uh, who knows, maybe to uh, as soon as they are uh, familiarized with uh, hexes and stuff like that, maybe they will uh, make the jump to Hex Encounter, Wargaming and stuff like that. Very nice cover art um, with the uh, very old and uh, slightly uh, less old or newer. Very nice cardboard for the box. Rules of play, um, a bit of uh, I'm used to uh, plain paper for the rules, but I have uh, 18x games uh, that uh, that are uh, in this uh, glossier uh, filling for the rule book. Color, um, not very much. Uh, illustrations. I will have a little example of the. Oh, here we have a few examples of uh, uh, game mechanics, but mostly text and uh, charts. Nothing wrong with that. We have the tile upgrade chart on the back, the map reference, and we have uh, 16 pages of rules. Then we have some stickers for. Uh, the companies, the drops really uh, quickly out. These are the uh, uh, char I don't know to, uh, I believe charters or something like that. Uh, tables for uh, companies. Uh, they're good uh, cardboard. Or uh, different companies in the game. Then the revenue truck, tracker, revenue tracker, sorry. Um, then we have a bunch of tiles, the top of rather nicely but they're good quality so we have three of them and then the board uh, another aspect of the board that uh, appealed to me is that it's rather small it doesn't take up much space so we have the map on one half and uh, then the stock market and the uh, 
blind pool and the various uh, uh, spaces for the shares. It has two spaces because it has uh, uh, one stylized box, which is this one, old school looking. Part and then the other one is much uh, straightforward and uh, more modern looking. So yeah, nice uh, mounted uh, board, very good quality. Um, then bunch of uh, uh, wooden pieces. Um, I think I have to, to, uh, to say this is the fifth set of edition, so they had the the. The game store had a Kickstarter edition, so uh, and that's a very funny looking counter right there. It's a silica gel on it, do not eat so we'll see about uh, what that does. Um, and then we have uh, Ziploc bags, cash, double sided. Nice cash. You can't uh, have too much cash. Um, and then we have uh, the uh, shares and the trains. Very good uh, art on that the diesel train. That streamlined locomotive looks awesome. So I open the pack. It has a very nice uh, satin type, maybe linen type finish. Very good quality card. Um, we have private companies as usual. Uh, then trains with a historical little bit of information on them. So the ear very nice and then uh, player order cards not really necessary but a nice touch so uh, yeah uh, very good quality cards and uh, then we have some player aids two player aids um, one sided when uh, uh, on which we have uh, all the information, the essential information for uh, the operating sequence, the reminders, and uh, uh, some rules for the two player games, and uh, trains, of course. When and how you can uh, utilize them. So, yeah, um, I'm very happy to have landed this. Uh, looking forward to trying it out first solo, and then who knows, maybe bringing some uh, new players to the game. Well, uh, thank you for watching, goodbye.